you guys know Vice Magazine. You guys know Vice TV. Um, Vice everywhere. It's Vice. That's Vice. It's actually one of my favorite channels because they serve such a niche audience. They serve the cannabis users. They serve the documentary watchers. They serve um, the conspiracy theorists. Vice is headed towards bankruptcy, Corey. This is sad as fuck to me. Thoughts before I get into the uh, <clears throat> the specifics. Yeah, it makes me question what's happening within TV. Because I know that's where a lot of their focus is. I had a conversation about this with somebody earlier this week. So I'm like... If their focus is on documentaries, uh, specializing it in different niches, like you said, whether it be cannabis, whether it be certain foods, whatever it is, um, things like that usually tend to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. So why is it with Vice, if that is their main focus area, why is it that they're not being successful? That is the question that I would ask first. The one thing I will say, and I don't know how much it actually has to go toward it during the election and presidency of Biden and Trump, they clearly picked their side. Vice did? Yeah. And it was the left side. Um, okay. So I don't, that could have had something to do with losing traction. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, so political to you. You don't pick sides, man. You you saw how that happened for CNN. You saw that how that happened for Fox. Everybody just became this side or that side, and Vice picked their side. Like I said, I don't know if that is what resulted in this, but it's down to the point where they're only filing for bankruptcy because they can't even find a buyer to pick up the that network. network. Yeah. <laughs> it says right here, uh, Vice, the brash digital media disruptor, that charmed giants like Disney and Fox into investing before a stunning crash landing is preparing to file for bankruptcy, according to two people with knowledge of the operation. The filing could come in the coming weeks, according to three uh, people familiar with the matter who weren't authorized to discuss the potential bankruptcy on record. The company has been looking for a buyer and still might find one to avoid declaring bankruptcy. More than five companies have expressed interest in acquiring vice According to a person briefed uh, on the discussion, the chances of that, however, are growing increasingly slim uh, with knowledge of the uh, said one of the people with potential knowledge of the bankruptcy. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So it sounds like uh, somebody, a whistleblower. Sounds like somebody from within the company that has information on how well they're actually doing. It's come out. They don't want to mm -hmm. make themselves known. but. Yeah. That's sad to hear Vice is up out of here because yeah. even even when it comes to just Instagram, I fuck with it. Now, the political stuff, I don't like to pick a side, so I kind of just ignore that. But even with that, I always like that they kept some sort of professionalism. It's not always just weed. It's not always just music. Oh, they got politics over here, too. Oh, at a certain time of the day, we can watch the news here, too. I haven't watched it like that, but... I like that it was there. Um, fuck, that's delicious from Action Bronson. That started as a Vice show. Really? That's, that's where I got it. Okay, um, okay. I have seen a few episodes of that. I used to watch that shit back in college, back when we were in dorms. Um, that's where I got on Vice. Wow. I feel your pain, brother. Sucks, man. Hopefully they find a buyer for you, bro. What's up? Put your cash up. Well, the reason why I wouldn't put my cash up is because I don't know what their valuation is right now, even though they're headed towards bankruptcy. At one point, they were valued at $5.7 billion. How do you lose that valuation? Man, their markets, uh, they're just, they're in failing markets. Think about it. Magazines, failing market. TV, failing market. It's all failing, you know? You can't, and you can't make money. That way. So it makes sense. And like you said, if it does have, which I damn near can almost guarantee you, definitely has some of that political pull, whether um, because you said they, they chose a side in that case. Definitely chose a side. That definitely has some effect here as well. So if you put all those things together, 
it could make sense if we are correct with our theories here. Um, but yeah, I don't think moving forward, bro, I'll be real with you. I think we're going to start to see more and more and more of networks, businesses, everything start doing this little filing for bankruptcy because of X, Y, Z. You know, it's like a domino effect when it comes to these things most of the time. I don't know what entertainment is going to look like in 20 years, Kari, because Man, it's going to be so different, dude. So different. It's going to be so different. Number one, TV. There's not as many people that watch program TV, like cable, things like that. That's right. going to be non existent in 50 years for sure. At least 50 for sure. The other thing that I'm going to say is our generation, millennials, and um, some of Gen Z, I consider us millennials. Um, we go to Twitter and other outlets on our phone to see what's happening, to see the latest updates. We don't watch the local news. Are we going to have TV news? Because nobody our age watches that shit. And the only reason why our parents and grandparents watch that is because before there were 100 and 200 and 300 and 1,000 channels, at a certain time of night, that was the only thing that was on. So yeah. it became so routine that they grew up and raised us watching it. We don't watch that shit. There was other stuff on at 10 p.m., at 9 p.m., at 8 p.m. by the time we were growing up. I think when we become the grandparents at that point, I think cable news or the local news could be over by that point. Then what will be our news outlet at that point? It'll just be all online. That's fucking crazy. I like it. 